Hi, this is Denise Surrett with LadiesBehindTheBeat.tv. We are here today with Karen Briggs, who is absolutely one of the best female jazz violinists in the world today. She recently performed at Mount Olive Lutheran Church at a Jazz Vespers concert benefiting Haiti. Performing with her today is Lenyungle Jackson on percussion and Mitchell Long on guitar. Any day now, Karen Briggs will be having, let's say, a very special delivery of her own, a very special package, an accompaniment. We'll be making her debut. Big Sister Kai and Karen are awaiting the completion of their trio, and the beautiful baby girl's name is... Kira. Kira. And she will be joining what Karen calls the Karen Briggs clan. Karen is a single mother, and she has really done a fabulous job raising her 13-year-old daughter, Kai, an honor student. Your oldest daughter is uh, on the honor roll, I hear? Yes, she is, and quite the hip-hop dancer, and quite an intellect, and it's real bright. I feel very proud. She's going to be a hard act to follow, sorry, but she, <laughs> yeah, she's going to be a hard act to follow. <laughs> and, and what an amazing thing that you've been able to do. I mean, this is this playing that violin, did you know that when you were just a teenager, that you were going to be able to travel the world. Did you ever imagine that at all? I had not one clue. I mean, I think I realized in high school, maybe by 11th grade, that this is something I want to pursue, but I grew up in this sea town, and most people, when they came out of school, they either got married, they went to college, or they joined the military, or they worked in the shipyard. And I was scared to tell anybody that I wanted to be a violinist. I really <laughs> was. Uh, I did make an attempt to tell a couple of people that and I got the reaction that I feared the most. You can't make a living doing that. Now, I'm not going to say it's easy and that it's for everybody, but I have made a living doing this for a long time now yeah. and raise a child. Yeah, and I'll raise this point. one too. <laughs> Talk about some of the uh, music influences that were in your household. Oh gosh, they were all in my entire neighborhood. I, I grew up in what I refer to as, as a, an American village, really, a black American village. Um, my grandfather and grandmother lived next door. Uh -huh. um, they had 14 children, one of which was my father. My grandfather played trumpet, organ, keys. All of his children either sang or played something, and it was very normal and regular for people to come over to our house, play piano, and have jam sessions. That was just, you know, we never thought anything of it until we left home and noticed everybody didn't do that. And even my, my great-grandfather, he was also very musical, too. He was a key keyboardist as well. So I, I know at least of about three generations that, that uh, this gene comes from. So Karen, I heard that uh, you had a great experience at Amateur Night at the Apollo Theater in New York, right? Talk about that. Before it was shown on TV, I won that contest uh, four times. Wow. Fourth time I placed third, but I placed, and I lost to, <laughs> I shouldn't say lost, I won, but I placed uh, third, and second was popular comedian Tommy Davidson, right. comedian actor, right. and a phenomenal tenor by the name of David Peaston yes, was, right. was the number one winner. They called that Top Dog Night. Right. <laughs> Most people recognize you from the Yanni video, Yanni at the Acropolis, as the violinist, the lady in red. Uh, there are some great statistics that you just learned. Talk about those. I heard that that was the second highest selling video of all time, second in comparison only to Thriller, Michael Jackson's Thriller. It has been seen in 65 countries and purchased and also seen by uh, at least a couple of billion people out here. And, uh, well, wow, I was kind of floored. <laughs> I'm like, where's my mansion? <laughs> One of the most exciting uh, moments in that video 
is when you are dueling with the, with the conductor. Oh, yes. I hate dueling. I really do. Was that spontaneous or? or, or no, it was, it was actually a lot of things about that video were quite, um, what is the word for it, prepared. Uh -huh. I think that helped to make it succeed. Um, I, I would wish that I was just like so pathetically clean and perfect every time I play just on the spot. That's a chancy thing. <laughs> but uh, we had been touring quite a while before this video was shot in Greece, in Athens. And um, so we pretty much had the show down to a level of perfection that by the time they videoed it, it was just a matter of what are you wearing <laughs> at that point. So yeah. there was some controversy about the red dress that happened before I went on stage. It was really weird because, uh, you know, everybody, but, he, they just, it was the brightness of the orange that they just really didn't like. And it had a head wrap, you know, I'm always wrapping my hair up when I play to get my hair out of the way. Right. And so uh, they made me fold the head wrap down to this like band. And as a result of that, I had to put so much gel and pull my hair back so tight that I think half the world thought I was Asian. <laughs> 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 you know, it just had a, a very high appeal to, to people who saw it. It, it gave him another audience. Uh, his audience became very diverse after that. It sold like a million copies in no time, just in the fundraiser alone for PBS. It was the highest, uh, uh, highest fundraising uh, project that uh, PBS had done in its history. And it was also the first time an artist was exposed in that way. So this did wonders for Yanni and for me, it brought me out of a very obscure life of being a jazz musician, a salsa musician. <laughs> I was playing all kinds of styles of music to survive at the time. And, you know, and although there was a small group of people who were aware of me, this really brought everything out. I lost my privacy after this. <laughs> and, and forever you'll be known as the woman in red. I'm yes, and I correct people and say, no, it's burnt orange. <laughs> <laughs>just a little girl originally from New York who grew up in Portsmouth, Virginia in this little town called Brighton. And when I think about all the talent that's in the world that, uh, I mean, are much more talented than me that are trying to access, you know, a, a way to be seen, heard, or recorded, or otherwise uh, make a career as a musician. I just feel very uh, favored um, to have been chosen to be seen by so many millions of people. I, I didn't see that coming. Right.